What kind of system do we live in where an institution can call the police on you for opposing genocide, but there's no authority that you can call on an institution that supports genocide? That's the backwardness and hypocrisy of the capitalist system. This is what we're seeing at Columbia University. This is what we're seeing at the University of Texas, at Austin. This is what we're seeing at campuses all across the country where encampments just like these are popping up, showing the bravery and the militancy of the students who refuse to stop the fight until Palestine is free. And what they also have in common is the role of the police. The police as an institution in the United States emerges out of slavery. The police exists ultimately to protect capital and the capitalist ruling class. The police like to say that they're here to protect and serve. But what they're protecting is the property of the rich and what they're serving are their interests. They're not protecting and serving us. We will stay in the streets. We will stay in the fight. We will not be cowed. We will stay in the struggle. We will strengthen our solidarity. We will build the movement. And we will keep on and fight on and march on and chant on until Palestine is free.